All right, you guys, thank you for joining me on another CHP Paranormal Investigation. We are back at the Devil's Tree in Saint in Port St. Lucie. I'm here this time with Grady. Bella's here with us. This one behind me is the famous tree. Unfortunately, we can't really do a nighttime investigation here like we would like to. Are due to the fact okay that they closed the park, okay? and I'm not into... They're good with camera. I'm not into a trespassing charge, so... Anyways, we got we found some new friends. They, they found us on online. We got here Tammy and her friend Chris. And they were here yesterday, and they just showed me some new ruins over here that I didn't know about. Because the last time I showed you guys the ruins that are behind the camera, where it was the cadet quarters and the slave quarters when the slave owners would travel here. So we are going to go ahead and we're going to do some necrophonic sessions here at the tree. Um, I'm going to let Brady ask some questions that he, that he would like to ask at the tree. Here at the tree and then I'll, well, we're, when I get done with the tree, we're going to go ahead and head back over to where the slaves and the cadets stay. And then I'll take you guys also over here where I found out I did necrophonic for a little bit, the camera wasn't on, and I was told that higher ups in the military and the slave owners would stay over where those ruins are. So we're going to see if we get further communications with them on the necrophonic app. While we're doing this, I'm going to go ahead and pull out my other phone for a little while. And because we did do a poll on our Facebook page, and if you aren't part of our Facebook group yet, it's CHP Paranormal Investigations on Facebook. Um, go ahead and send us a, a request to join us because on the poll on that page they asked us to go live from the Devil's Tree. So I'm going to go ahead and get this up and started so we could be live for them here at the Devil's Tree. So, all right, a little Facebook family and the YouTube guys, we're here at the Devil's Tree. So let's go ahead and and get this investigation started. Like I said, I'm sorry this ain't a nighttime one, but the park closes at eight, and they've got a gate that that they shut, and I'm not gonna get in trouble for trespassing. So we're gonna be here close to when it closes, anyways, because it's after seven now. So all right, I'm gonna go ahead and start this, this session and. And you know, I'd like to ask you to come speak into the device in my hand if you wouldn't mind. And tell us a little bit of stuff that's gone on around here, if you can. Can I get in contact with the, the spirit of the girls that were hung here at the tree? Can you tell us what was done? What was done here at this tree? He killed him. Just got he killed him on the app. How'd he kill him? John done it. He was Officer Gerard John Schaefer. Yeah. How'd he, how'd he kill him? Did he, did he kill him here at the tree? Or did he hang them up after they were dead? Hang her. Mm hmm. Got hang her. Is it true that he tried to stuff a third body in the tree? I need you to come in clearer. Did he try to stuff a third body in the tree, yes or no? He tried. I just got he tried. Was there any reason specifically that he chose this spot? You heard that too over there. Mm-hmm. 
Almost like the sound of a limb drop. Sound like either a limb drop, drop or somebody who was walking. No, everybody else, everybody that walked through is gone. What made that noise in the woods over there behind Grady? I am home. Do people come and do satanic rituals at this tree? Maybe. Last time I was here, I was able to contact the spirit, the spirit of a slave. Can I, can I talk to him, please? Sure. Are you over here by the tree, or are you over by the ruins where your barracks were? Barracks. Barracks. We're going to have to go over here by the barracks. We're going to... Alright, I'm over here at your barracks now. The last time I was here, you told me you died of sickness. Is that true? Of course. Do people come and do satanic rituals over here? Not really. So over here, they don't really do... They're saying that they don't do the rituals. Did your slave owner treat you bad? Patty, if you're hearing anything, go back and rewatch it for us with earbuds and let us know what you hear. She thinks she's catching EVPs. We do have the Necker app going too. Was your slave owner a cruel slave owner or was he a, a kind owner? Mean. I just got mean. Whoever's whispering, can you make that a little bit louder so I can catch what's being said? Try to use your energy and push through and come louder for me. Awesome. Thanks, Patty. I'll double check that. She's getting EVPs on her end. Is it dangerous to come here after dark? Yes. Got a quick yes on that one. I can't pick up, there's one whisper that keeps coming through that's saying something, but it's a very soft whisper. Hopefully we'll catch it on playback, but yeah. without the boom mic, I don't know. Yeah. Alright, well, I'm going to go back over by the tree to calm my dog down. Alright, you can come over by the tree with me and continue talking with me. I heard that. I died slow. That's what she just whispered. I died slow. Yeah, that bell's wigging out over there. Yeah. See what? Let's see what Grady's getting over here while we were at the barracks. Honestly, this is the least that Grady has ever gotten off of the set. I haven't gotten anything since he is guilty. I've been running since then. 
So you told me back there when we were by the barracks that you died slowly. Do people come here and try to take pieces of this tree often? Some. For those that's with us on the live, we can give you more information on the tree later if you'd like. Um, and you can also watch our video from where we'd be here before that has history on the tree. You want to check the other barracks? Yeah. You come with us? Yeah, I'm following. Alright. So we're going to go ahead and check these other rooms over here where there were barracks. I'm still with the Decaphonic calf right now. And for those of you with us on live, we have new friends, Tammy and Chris, with us today. And we're going to share a little of their story and how we met them later on. This is the barracks on the other side of the trail. Or what's left of them. And then you see the CC on the other side? Yeah. But that's on each step. I'm wondering if that's not indicative of the company that built the original structure in some form. I'll have to research it. Yeah. So what kind of rituals are performed I see here? that. That looks Masonic. Not native. That marking looks Masonic, not native to me. On the step. Because there are demons in this woods. Yeah. There is. Just got there is. I asked if there's demons in these woods and they said there is. Is it because of the rituals that have been performed around here? Has something been released that should not have been released out and about in these woods now due to the rituals? getting a lot of weird readings at the same time on the Necrophonic app. And as you see, Bella is checking out the, uh, the ruins. Now, I told you I'd come back over here and speak with you, and you told me you, that I could. Can you tell me more what goes on over here? Did you witness what happened at the tree all them years ago? Yeah. That's so. a, Yeah. So how often do people come out here and do rituals? Do they do them weekly? Do they do them monthly? 
Do they do them quarterly? I got a response. Hmm. Fre frequently. You just said frequently. Alright, well, I thank you for communicating with me throughout this. You have been very helpful. But I'm going to go ahead and close the communication session with you, and you must stay. You're not allowed to attach to anybody who's here with me. You're not allowed to attach to anybody watching this. You got to stay here. This is your home. And we leave you in peace, and we leave you in respect. Thank you for your communication. So I know for a lot of you guys that are going to be watching this that I didn't have the, the speaker hooked up tonight to it so it might be a little bit harder to hear what was going on in the, on the necrophonic app. I apologize. It's only because I'm, as you can see, I'm holding Bella now and she is kind of on her own adventure a little bit over there um got a lot of good responses on the necrophonic app so it seems that there are people that come out here frequently to do rituals and because of those rituals there is demonic energy released here in these woods you know I do feel a heaviness throughout here I wasn't sure if it was residual from what happened to the victims of the serial killer over at the tree we did hear again that he hung them we did hear that he did try to put a third one in the tree you know and if I come here again I'll ask that same question and if I keep getting the same response we'll go ahead and say that that's 100% confirmed so for right now I'm gonna say that that's still a legitimate story it's a still a legitimate idea of what happened at this tree so I mean is the legend debunked that he had he tried to hide a body in the tree as well as the hangings I would say at this point no I think we were leaning more towards a confirmation that he did try but it's gonna take further research I really wish we can come out here after night after dark I wish I could come out here after midnight for you guys but until I can finally get some kind of permission I'm gonna I'm not going to try to just sneak in here because we are not into supporting of breaking the law of any kind when we're doing these things we try to make sure that any place that we go and do investigations at that we are kind of allowed we don't go on any property this is private property of do not trespass for those that are joining us on live, I'm going to sign off on live, and you can catch the rest on the video on YouTube. We love you guys. Thank you for joining us, and we'll talk to you soon. Yes, thank you for joining us on live. So, you know, there's not much more further investigation we could do tonight here at the Devil's Tree and the ruins that are around the devil's tree it's gonna somehow we're gonna have to find a way to get permission from the police or the sheriff's department to allow us even parks and recreation would suffice as long as yeah. we can get in writing yeah we're gonna try to find some way to be able to come in after midnight It's playing in my pocket. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, that, that was the phone. <laughs> my phone was still playing the, the live, so if you guys hear that on, that is not, <laughs> that, that was technical difficulties right there, not, not, uh, paranormal phenomenon. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's debunked. But, uh, we are going to try to work our hardest to get some kind of permission to come here after night. I would like to get here around the 3 o'clock 3 a.m. hour the witch's hour 
and do a thorough invest hour long investigation if you guys would like me to try to do that when you guys are watching this say so in the comments below if you guys are watching this and you guys heard something that we don't hear because we're not going to mark out anything that we hear because we don't want to put suggestions in your head we want you guys to legitimately know that you heard it and it wasn't from our suggesting it so please listen to the, this when you're watching it with earbuds so you can hear what's going on and if you got a house that you think that if you think your house is haunted and you'd like a team to come and investigate it or anything that your family owns business or whatever feel free to contact us by email at chp.paranormal.16 at gmail.com at chp.paranormal.16 at gmail.com you can follow Bella on Instagram at Bella the Ghost Hunting Dog. You can follow us on Twitter at CHP Paranormal Investigations. You can follow us on Facebook at CHP Paranormal Investigations. And if you're watching this and you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, share, continue supporting this movement for CHP Paranormal Investigations because the more you guys that subscribe, the more things that we could go out and and go and investigate. So with your help, we could bring you the content that you want us to bring. I thank you guys for joining us. And for now, I'll see you at the next haunt.